Hi friends. Welcome to a new learning video on Pharma Guideline. Today we will discuss the criteria to choose the correct swab for cleaning validation. In pharmaceutical manufacturing, the product must not be contaminated by previous products, as well as it should not be contaminated with the cleaning agent used for equipment cleaning. To verify the cleaning process it is validated by taking the sample from various parts of cleaned equipment that is to be used in the manufacturing process and these samples are analyzed for contamination. Swabs are used to take a sample from the cleaned equipment for analysis. Contaminants of previous products or cleaning agent residues are eluted from the swab. The analysis is done by HPLC or GC to determine the amount of residues. TOC analyzer can also be used to determine all the oxidizable carbon compounds. To get accurate results, it is required to use the correct swab to take the sample. Because the swab is the main component that has the highest chance of error and may result in inaccurate cleaning validation. These are the four most important criteria to choose a swab for cleaning validation. First is Minimal extractable interferences. Extractable interferences are the residues of the swab itself. The contaminants extracted from the swab during its use should be the minimum. These are the contaminants in the blank swab, that is swab in the solvent used to take a sample. Second is, high recovery rate. The recovery rate is the percentage of the released amount of the sampled content. A swab doesn't release whole swab content but it should release the maximum that it can. A minimum 60% recovery rate is acceptable but the higher recovery rate is better. Third is, solvent compatibility. Various solvents are used for swab sampling according to the residues of the previous products. Therefore, the swab must not have any chemical reaction with the solvent used for sampling because this may alter the actual cleaning validation results. Therefore, the swab must be compatible, especially with the solvent to be used for the swabbing. Fourth is, low particle generation. Every swab sheds particles during its use on equipment surface and it is difficult to find a non-particle shedding swab. But we must select a low particle generating swab because these particles will contaminate the next product that will be manufactured on that equipment. All the above features should be considered before selecting the swab for cleaning validation sampling. You may add more things to this list like the size of the swab. Swab must be sufficient in size to cover the sampling area by 5 to 10 swabbing. A bigger swab will be able to hold more material from the sampling surface. A swab plays an important role in successful cleaning validation. Hand swabs for sampling must be selected carefully because they can ruin all your validation activity. Like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video.